Hello, Sagittarius. This is your weekly love reading for March. So, let's see what the cards are for you guys. For some of you. Or at least for one of you. Okay. So, let's see for who we have the message this week. Sagittarius. All right, so the main, the inner energy, the outer energy, what you need to do, and the last one. Here we go. Okay, so Sagittarius, your main card. Mm. Completion, the world card in Major Arcana. Your energy, your inner energies, past lives, or the moon, also Major Arcana. There you go. The outer intensity. This one is the Knight of Staff. Okay. What you need to do? All right. Three of Swords. And last one. Eight of Pentacles nothing out of the ordinary okay so kind of from what i see here it's about an ending i think some sort of a relationship is ending for some of you guys completion the world card it's coming to an end a, a cycle is ending You know, putting the last piece of the puzzle in, you have the whole view, and then you let it go. Uh, move on to a new beginning. So, there are things being brought up right now. This moon, this past life, this, this for me, this card is like something that comes out to the light something that is being brought up to the surface something that was hidden um, <clears throat> um and things are coming up to be solved things are resurfacing because you need to heal them to come to terms with things and to release them and to let to move on. Um, <clears throat> there's this intensity from the outer energy. Um, of course, it's a uh, your relationship right now with this person. It's intense, and this intensity is coming from them. It's like this built up pressure that has been waiting and waiting there and right now it's manifesting, it's coming at you. It's like you're fighting for because of something or you're, something is being brought up, something is being brought up to the light, something is, and there Think they're bringing it up um, and you kind of have to deal with it maybe <sighs> this intensity to me it seems like they're very um, maybe even angry at you they're Wanting to get to the bottom of things, 
they can no longer stand a situation they have to do something it's no longer like they can no, no longer like accept things how they are something needs to happen something needs to change there's all this build up pressure that is making them explode and they're very like tense and emotional and as I said even angry coming at you you see this like towards you one pointed um, <clears throat> and maybe if they found out something about you and this thing that you have tried to hide has now come to the surface and this is bringing kind of like the end of this relationship and it's making you sad and this three of swords is like you don't want this but you kind of have to face it so the thing here for you guys for some of you for whoever resonates with this of course not all of you will maybe some of you maybe just one i don't know um, the thing is, uh, for you, what I see here with this Eight of Pentacles, to me, this Eight of this is the card of stop focusing on the details and see the bigger picture. Don't get lost on, don't fixate on little things. You need to see the whole picture, and the bigger purpose of something <clears throat> so it will you will get through easier from this situation if you learn how to look at it from a bigger perspective and not don't try to focus on little things that just keep you stuck in pain release whatever it is that you need to release release the pain let it you know come you need to come to terms with things but maybe you need to like to gain an, a, some sort of awareness of how things are and maybe that they needed to be like this um maybe this needed to happen and although it may not seem so it is in your benefit somehow Maybe you've learned a lesson in this. Um, maybe it's like you've thinking think about it in, in terms of like you've finished your karma and now you have to kind of move on to new experiences. The idea is that you need to come to terms with the past and like come to terms with ending. Because with ending, there's also always a new beginning. So allow yourself to feel. But then see the bigger picture. And move on. And see that there's always a new start. And there's always something new for you to experience. And it's the end of a cycle. It's not the end of the whole world. It's not the end of happiness is not the end of this it's just the end of an experience that um you have to look at it like there's a lesson there it helped you you don't need to be attached you you don't need to fixate on anything uh appreciate what you had and move on um So yeah, the this is like what I get from this. Like this is unavoidable. This had to happen. Uh, and to get through to this, and it's you need to look at the bigger picture. Stop focusing on the details. Stop focusing on you know small things. See the bigger perspective. <clears throat> so yeah this is kind of what I see from this uh, it will be okay 
don't worry. Um, we learn from the situations. It's always about learning. Life is always about learning. And in the end, you don't have to be sad, too sad about it because there's nothing that we can truly hang on to. Everything is just passing experiences, passing moments. So don't be too sad for thinking that you've lost something or thinking that you cannot go back or you cannot be like that again or because you can never hold on to anything and if you think you're going to be happy if you hang on tight to something you're wrong because you can never tight hold on to nothing to anything it everything is changing always so it's about adapting to new situations and learning how to let go of things and still having hope that you will experience good things in the future and it's not the end of everything it's just the end of a cycle that has helped you grow has helped you learn be grateful for that and move on there's always always a new beginning for everything so kind of need to see the bigger picture sort of in in this way so yeah well, i hope this makes sense if you resonated with this and if you didn't it's okay then maybe in my next video i may have a message for you there but either way thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye